Namaste beautiful yogis. Welcome to class 25 of our 30 day hero journey through yoga. And today's theme is return with the elixir. After we have um, gone through all that we went through and we have gone in deeper searching within, descending, ascending, we have finally gotten the illumination we've been looking for from the search within and from the search without and we're going home with the elixir this is the return with the elixir which means that once we have discovered the treasure within we're gonna go back home return to the ordinary life and bring the treasure that we have discovered and bring it back into the ordinary world and share it with the community with the world illuminate the world from the light that is within us right so today's team is going back home and bringing the treasure a perfect example of, of that in literature is king arthur in search of the holy grail the holy grail has a healing power to him and it is the treasure he's looking for so we are healing through the illumination we're getting and we're, we have the potential to heal or illuminate the world so contemplate that subject it is also the shaman the shaman of the village that lives outside in the outskirts of the outskirts of the village and he has either the the potion the magic mushrooms or something that he brings into the village and that doesn't just apply to south america it goes all throughout europe and pretty much in every culture there is that healer that that person that holds um, knowledge about the unseen or the healing world or nature he brings it to the people and he illuminates them so in some sense you're the shaman going back home right <laughs> how does that sound all right are you ready today we're going to do something that we haven't done uh, in this series and we're going to do a lot of floor ups with some other surprises sprinkled in magically. Are you ready to flow with strength and ease? And we'll start at the front of our mats you know very well that i like to give you things that you don't get during your day so we're not sitting a lot i know you get to sit a lot probably <laughs> on most days so i give you things that are more beneficial to your body let's roll the shoulders back and down open the palms of the hands up drop the shoulder blades back into the back soften the shoulders relax them relief release the tension in the shoulders a perfect example of tension in the shoulder is shoulders is when we are not rolling the palms of the hands up and we just open the hands in any way and lift up the shoulders with tension so we want to relax and create space at the same time we're relaxing but we're also strengthening the shoulder blades are strengthening the back is strengthening even the biceps as you can see are involved here so we're building strength and softness at the same time strength and ease and let's bring the hands behind us fingers interlacing open the chest look up so here as you're opening the chest imagine visually uh, imagine visualize your heart lifting up to the ceiling and space around the chest area rather than trying to pop it with intention pop the chest open try to create space openness and lift so it's a little different how we approach it and keeping that clasp behind step your feet hip width apart and sit in chair pull the belly in and lift the chest as high as you can by now your chair pose should be looking stronger and stronger great shift onto the right leg and take warrior three now if you cannot keep that clasp you can hold the towel or just release it so take it at your level of course warrior three 
Level the hips, calm the breath down. Chair. Same side, warrior three. Chair. Extending the tailbone down, warrior three. Chair. And opposite side, warrior three on the left leg, and chair, warrior three, chair, warrior three, chair. Release the hands, shake them. We're gonna bring the hands over the knees and because the elixir, I often think of that solar plexus gut area is a very important area to us, to our intuition and just guiding for us gut feeling. That's why today we're gonna bring a lot of physical attention here. Let's start with vacuums. And exhale, hollow the belly. And release, let's do two more. <clears throat> As you exhale, try to suck the belly in. Keep trying. If it doesn't make a lot of sense now, just keep trying. The air locks out and the abdominal wall lows. Very good, one last. All right, coming out of this, good job. Inhale, reaching over the head, arching. Exhale, folding. Inhale. Come halfway up and bring your hands on your legs. Exhale, folding, and one more time. Inhale, halfway up, pull the belly in. Folding, one more time, inhale. Lifting, lengthening through the crown of the head, shoulders back and down, hands on the floor, step it back, plank. Yesterday we didn't do anything on the hands or shoulders, so today we're gonna bring that back. Plank, pull the belly in, press the heels away from you, and lower down onto your elbows. And come back up onto the hands. Let's bring the right elbow down, left elbow down. Right hand up, left hand up. Left elbow down, right elbow down. Left hand up, right hand up. Right elbow, left elbow. Right hand left hand so now try not to move your hips too much try to steady them as you lower left right left up right right left right up left one more left try to be as steady as you can right left right good all right bring your knees down stretch it out in Extended puppy pose, which is very similar to child's pose. You can hear Sophie snoring loudly. What can I give to the world? How can I illuminate the world? How can I serve the world with the gifts I'm given i've been given i've discovered i uncovered we all ultimately are here to participate in the collective and thus grow personally all right <clears throat> downward facing dog 
Today is going to be a fusion class, not a yoga, not a workout, but both. <laughs> Inhale the right leg up and open the right hip on top of the left. Lift it as high as you can. Square the hips, step it through, take the right hand up, twist, reach over the head here and press the back heel away from you, feel that length on that top side of the body. Great, right hand onto the hip, step to the front and keep Keep your left hand down on the floor and we're gonna post the left leg up. One, two, three, four, five. Step it back, high lunge, reach over the head. Hands behind you interlacing, open the chest, look up, lower down, forehead towards the ankle, humble warrior. And exhale down. Plank, maybe Chaturanga, up dog or Cobra, and down dog. Inhale the left leg up, lift it high. Tap into your breath. Shoulders away from the ears here, lift, open, create space. Effortlessness, tap into the effortlessness of the pose. Square the hips, step it through. Keep the right hand down, left arm up. Keep pressing the back heel up and away from you. Don't let it move to the side. So keep the alignment of the feet here and just exhale, soften the belly, twist a little deeper. Reach over the head, lengthen. So the heel is reaching away from the fingertips and there is a good spinal twist here. Look down, you can bring the hand onto your hip, left hand, left hip, and take the right leg off the floor, right hand, somewhere on the floor and press that heel up five times engaging the glutes one two three four and five and step it back high lunge reach over the head exhale the hands behind interlacing the fingers you can switch the clasp now with the dominant finger under open the chest look up exhale folding Pressing the back heel away from you. And release, plank. Lower down onto your belly. Lift up, legs off the floor, hands off the floor. You can reach out to the sides with your hands. Lift, 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 lift. Okay, down dog. And let's walk the feet to the front, exhale forward fold, soften those hamstrings, even give them a little a little slapping. Yes, you can proudly tell people, yep, I slap my own butter legs. And you can just reach side to side here, finding a little bit of a different movement in a forward bend. Very good, straight back, pull the belly in. Come up all the way to standing, reach over the head, arch, exhale, hands over the heart. Take a big step out along the length of your mat. And here we're going to take a pose right in between plie. Plie is this and a squat. 
so it's right in between it's a little wider for a squat and a little more narrow for a plie feet pointing diagonally out anywhere from 45 to 60 degrees and here we're gonna lower into a plie and lift one leg lower into a plie squat and the other leg so really flexing the hips this part of your muscles one two three four really firming up the abdominal wall five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve pop the booty back Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Let's do ten more. One, two, three, four. This really engages the obliques. Pull the belly in. Seven, I think. Eight, nine. Whenever I'm not sure about the count, I give you a little extra. <laughs> all right here we're gonna just walk side to side in squat so step it out push the booty back good walk you can take big or small steps let's go with small steps really push the booty back so you can see your toes when you look down. All right, give it a little bit of a dancey step and opposite side. Still staying in chair door squat but with a little bit of a dance how fluid can you get be all right plie now we've graduated to plie and here we can groove a little bit so this is a pose I started during my postpartum classes and it's you imagine your pelvis to be a boat and we're just doing a boat in the ocean <sighs> moving side to side all right let's reach side to side finding that length coming out and here we're gonna do one more kind of a warm-up strengthening cardio sequence so we're just going to touch the floor with the right hand towards the left foot jump and switch now you can step and switch it's about the same thing choose your level no matter what you do straight back so let's see straight back and feel free to touch just your calf if you don't want to go all the way to the floor just the air you can even bring an object to touch and shall we one two three four open chest five six seven eight pushing the booty back twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And stepping at the end of the mat, we're going to jump and take a side lunge. Come out, jump or hop or walk, side lunge. And really push the body back, use your chair and muscles. A few more of those. Really use your chair muscles. 
feel as you come up feel every fiber in your hamstrings hips glutes firing up squeeze 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 good those are important poses they really add something to yoga because you don't see them in traditional yoga you see them in interval yoga but they add a lot and we want the cardio we do it's good for the heart All right, and here we're gonna stay low and just jump side to side. You can bring the elbows in, kind of like a skater move, still keeping the booty back. You should feel the burn. great and we're gonna step to the other side hip width apart chair or squat step to the other side chair keep it low chair 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 step it at the center step out back to 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 center a few more i know today is gonna be invigorating and here we're going to, you can shake it out if you if you need to enjoy the cardio effect good for your heart really good and needed for your heart to stay young and here we're gonna go for a regular squat come up open the arms elbows bending palms of the hands facing each other twist squat 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 twist two more release the hands and we're gonna reach to the front with the right hand squat foot kick here you can do the martial kick where you're kicking through the heel gradually straightening the leg so instead of swinging we're finding a lot of control and kicking through the heel and squat and kicking through the heel a little wider squat helps here kicking through the heel three four i'm treating you like intermediate students <laughs> giving you the intermediate treatment still not advanced we're still taking it somewhat easy. Shall we change sides? Press through the heel. Press through the heel. Sit back, use your glutes, you need them. They're the most, the biggest muscle, one of the important muscles. As if they are equally important, not equally important. But working on the body is really important because it's one of the biggest muscles so building the body can really improve your metabolism dramatically and resting burning calorie rest in in rest which is important let's face it it's important all right shake it out good job step to the front inhale over the head arch Exhale, folding. Inhale, look ahead of you. Plank. 
lower down onto your elbows, hold. Pull the belly in and you can shift side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Knees on the ground, stretch it out, child's pose. One more time. Elbow plank, so your wrists are resting, we're doing variations of plank. Here, make sure that your elbows are underneath the shoulders. Usually you have troubles if they're not, so I'm assuming that they are. But look down, make sure. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Squeezing the belly and you can lay down onto your body, lay down on the back. And we're going to reach with the right hand over the head, left foot extends, elbow to knee, one, two, really squeeze. Bring the left hand onto your belly so that you can feel the squeeze. Three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Opposite side. One. Squeeze. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven eight, nine, ten, and here lifting the legs up and we can lift the body of the floor, one, two, again you can bring your hand onto your belly to make sure you're flexing everything or you can bring your hands underneath the hips, lift, lift, really squeeze two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The next one will be bringing the hands all the way underneath the booty and bending the knees at 90 degrees. Pull the belly in as hard as you can. And we're gonna go for toe dips only on one side lower down keeping the leg in one unit so we're not just flinging the lower uh, portion of the leg the calves and shin bones but we're moving everything as one unit and bringing it back up and really having control of the move pulling the belly in forming the abdominal wall let's go one Four, five, six, seven toe dips as if you're dipping them in water. Last one, opposite side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then feel free to rest during the next exercise if you find it to be a little advanced for you or a little intense or do a little fewer reps. We'll be lifting the body up, legs over the chest, lower down, keep the, keep the knees bent, keep the lower back on the floor and lower the legs down as far down as they would go without removing the lower back from the floor or losing control of the abdominal muscles. So that might not be a lot. And again, lift, lower down. And you can bring the hands again underneath the booty, lower down, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
and 10. And here we're going to lower the left leg a few inches off the floor, right leg up, palms of the hands pressing. You can have the index finger pointing so that you're a little more badass. And reach here. Keep the chest open, reach, reach. Create a lot of work. Great, legs together, opposite side, lower the right leg down. Really flex your core. Lift opposite side. <sighs> Lift opposite side. Lift. <sighs> Change. Last side. And we're gonna go for very slow bicycles, hands behind the head, elbows back and out. And try not to crunch here, try to keep that space. Extend one leg, bend one knee, opposite elbow to knee, keep your elbows as far back as you can, and shift one. Squeeze the belly, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You should feel the burn here. Grab the backs of your knees, roll up, and let's do yoga core exercise. You can have your feet touching a wall or feet on the ground. So the touching the wall is a little more advanced version on the ground, a little more beginner. Bring your hands underneath your knees, pull the belly into your thighs, straighten the lower back, lean back, chest open. So reaching here and holding this maybe as far as you want to go, just maintaining that control and that curvature is what you're looking for. If at any point you feel that this is what you're looking for and you're just doing apps like this there's no point you're just pretty much putting your lower back at risk and not creating any core strength so you might even want to hold your legs and stay here because even this is a lot of work this is a lot of work just to create isometric isometric <laughs> contraction in the core and the curvature in the lower back spinal curvature so keeping just the alignment here can be um, enough of a challenge you can reach forward as long as you can keep everything flexing and the chest open and you can reach side to side so I'm giving you levels on one day you can do one thing on another day you may just hold back a little so even our own practice fluctuates and Realign every so often and go back again at it. Go at it. One, two, three, four. Realign. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's go for a lower boat. Pose Navasana round the back in order to lower down, draw the belly in, navel in. Press the lower back into the floor and Again, a few levels here. Reach forward and that might be as far as you want to go and just keep that connection going here. You don't want to lose that connection. Touch is the abdominal wall underneath. Underneath the top layer of tissue, fat, etc. There is the abdominal wall. You can always reach under and touch it. Is it fired up? Is it strong? We want a strong core to support our posture. If it's very strong, you can extend one leg and then the other. And if that seems okay, you can lift the legs a little higher. Keep the lower back on the floor and reach. The more you lower the legs, the harder it gets. And you have to make sure that the lower back is on the ground. Squeeze the inner thighs into each other. release we'll do one more wrap of this so always feel free to dig in here and 
even dig through the muscle so that you can feel your intestines even your digestive organs see how everything feels is it is it nice and pain-free just get to know your own body make sure you're you're exploring you touch your belly uh, and you just get to know your own self oftentimes people just don't even check in to see how their own body is doing all right let's go really so we've all been raised in a culture of shame there is so much shame about the body like your own belly can be a shameful subject so i'm trying to break out of that with my classes just acceptance the body is natural it is really natural you got it it's fine it's okay there's nothing wrong or shameful about it or weird or giggly oh you know how people laugh about the butt or something just as if we're in fourth grade all of us all right one more time release and again release making sure that your lower back is on the floor the entire time you may actually lift your legs way high in order to have this happen or you can lower them way low i used to have them all the way here and i still probably can but i'm on the safe side after baby is still rebuilding so take it at your own level mindfulness is all i'm asking you <sighs> release to develop here mindfulness is the goal developing the core strength so that we bring our core values into the world we give from from our gut again squeeze release let's go one last time squeeze release all right cross your ankles and let's go opposite elbow to knee one two keep the elbows back so now if you've kind of gotten into your tissues into your the fibers of your muscles the previous alignment now all of this is gonna start to just you're gonna start aligning properly on your own so elbows back and really really firing up the real core a lot of people wonder why they work out and they don't have any core strength or the bellies are just quite weak it's because of the alignment oftentimes people think it's okay to do 100 abs never mind that none of them actually worked on the core it's all this <laughs> moving and no awareness so that's what we want we want awareness the opposite of what oftentimes people do while why they do uh, classes we want the opposite just filling the body less reps maybe keep moving side to side elbows back chest open shoulders down core on fire on fire all right now hands are gonna reach on the sides of the hips and we're gonna shift side to side again lower back on the floor let's go one two three four five six eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right let's do a few pelvic swing tilts which stretches the core a little bit so side to side 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 and involve mula bandha your root lock root chakra kegel muscles there is no true way to strengthen the core unless we also strengthen the pelvic floor a few more tilts here shifting side to side 
all right lower down lower back on the floor again and we're gonna lift the legs up you can bend the knees heels straight up and we're gonna just lift a tiny bit peeling the tailbone off the floor but keeping everything up and down up and down no swinging no legs over the head everything up and down so lift the legs can be extended if that's doable for you otherwise bend them and flex the feet and again lift up up so we're lifting an inch at the most one two three four five six seven eight nine ten bridge pose to stretch out the muscles we were working on even though this may look somewhat like traditional abs it is also not because we're working with alignment <laughs> all right and side crunches let's let's do lay onto your left side left knee to elbow extend left knee to elbow extend sophie is giving me judgmental looks <laughs> one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Opposite side. One. Working on the inner thigh as well. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and. 10 and now traditional side crunches extending the bottom arm underneath one either touching the toes or elbow to knee either way really firing up the obliques two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and opposite side one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten all right rest on your back you can bring your knees together hands onto the belly and to the on the heart I hope your abs are on fire, creating that fire, fire, fire in the, in the belly. Let's reach in front of us, press the lower back into the floor one more time and we're gonna bring the knee towards the forehead and extend. Bring the knee in and extend. Now when you extend, you can reach over the head and that is an advanced version. So only test it out and see if you can maintain that core connection. Otherwise keep reaching forward, see? Four, five, opposite side one two three four and five for abs and certain cardio elements you can exhale through the nose or through the mouth but for yoga always exhale through the nose learn the proper breathing techniques in order to deepen the practice and enhance the health rest for a moment here breathe breathe into the belly
and we're gonna lift the legs up one more time lower them just just a little again making sure that your abs are contracting but the lower back should be flat on the floor touching the floor so no gap there you can lift your booty off the floor that helps with alignment and here we're gonna crisscross if that's too much for you just hold release hold release if you can join me for the crisscrossing then do so and now we're gonna only lift the sorry only lift the chest lift and lower lift and lower lift keep the shoulders down lower lift lower lift lower lift grab the backs of your knees roll up and sit back again maintaining that beautiful curvature of the lower back and here we can do that rope thing really reaching through the core so reach 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 how's the lower back are you are you keeping that nice spinal curvature you can lay down a little more reach reach as if you're pulling a rope down great good job you guys let's go into down dog inhale the right leg up step it through drop the back heel down warrior one we're going to push from the toes on the left side all the way to coming to the right leg straight back hands on the floor and i'll show you here and you're just going to bring your left leg out to the side and pump it a few times again working on the hips one straight back two you can bend the right knee three four and five and from here five step it straight back into warrior one was this too much tell me in the comments below learning new moves really enhances your brain so movement is literally the best way to heal the emotions the heart the soul past trauma and to really lift the power intelligence to kind of open it up to new directions exhale down plank chaturanga up dog chaturanga maybe down dog inhale the left leg up step it through warrior one and here we're gonna push through the back leg so again coordination here balance and bring the hands in front of you straight back bend the left knee and we're gonna bring the right leg on the side and lift one two three four and five and step it back into warrior one exhale down plank pull the belly in is it on fire chaturanga and up dog and maybe a second mini chat around the down dog. <sighs> Exhaling through the nose. Inhale the right leg up. Step it through. Windmill the hands all the way into warrior two. Reverse the warrior by walking the left hand down the left leg and reaching high here. Keep the knee bent side angle elbow over the knee reaching up or right hand on the floor maybe not for everyone this is not for everyone but if it feels comfortable you can 
reaching over the head with the left hand, palm of the hand down, protecting the shoulder. Both hands on the floor, lift the back heel up, take the right hand up, twist. Let's release both hands down, stretching the hip flexor here, so walk the left knee further away from the front heel, tuck the tailbone under, stretch it. Beautiful, step it back, Chaturanga, up dog maybe chaturanga down dog inhale the left leg up step it through windmill the hand straight into warrior two externally rotating the hip and here feel your feet they're really the foundation of the pose they have such a beautiful spiritual meaning too They rule Pisces. We just came out of the Piscean era of spirituality. Let's reverse it. And lower down side angle. You can deepen it, optional. Reaching over the head. Exhale, right hand on the floor, bring the left heel up. Twist. Exhale, both hands down. Walk the left leg further back. Extend the tailbone down, stretch it. beautiful and here we're gonna step in a yogic squat at the center of the mat hands in prayer maybe otherwise hands on the floor for balance shall we do that crow pose that you so much liked in one of the first 10 classes somewhere in the first 10 classes we did a baby crow so flexing the hands Press your triceps into your shin bones so the shoulders are down and you're in a power position here. Your chest is ready to fire up, back is ready to fire up. As a matter of fact, when you push with the triceps back, your back is, your back muscles are firing up. And we're gonna just reverse the direction of how we are in um, comparison in um, in comparison to the floor so we're just gonna flip the direction so to speak we're gonna shift forward and shift back right shift forward toes and back you don't have to take off you don't have to take anything off the floor just shift a few times and now when you shift pull the belly in and back pull the belly in draw it in and back pull the belly in and hold here and now take the left leg off the floor and drive it as high as you can towards your booty and really flex your abs you feel them all right release opposite side <sighs> lift 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 as high as you can heel into the body belly contracting this is gonna give you a six pack <laughs> opposite side <laughs> really flex this is so much work opposite side beautiful and release back and now maybe we'll peel the toes off the floor for a quick second and back peel off and back peel off and back for the next one if you feel that you can hold it for a moment bring your feet towards each other so let's go feet towards each other Looking a little ahead of you. Very good. Release. Stretch it out. Let's wrap the right hand out and back. Reach over the head. And opposite side. Reach out and back. 
and up. And release, walk the hands in front of you, push the heels down, feel the stretch, groin is stretching here, inner thighs. And last up exercise, I promise. Hands on the ground, fingers spreading wide and open. And walk your, tuck your toes under, walk your, Knees pretty much behind your wrists. Lift the knees off the floor, pull the belly in, hold, release. So here it doesn't look like much, but it gives you the opportunity to con contract your muscles and really, really, really strengthen your core. Lift, release. One more, lift. And now shift the knees to the right, forearm left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, squeeze, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Let's bring the right shin bone forward, walk the left leg a little further back, open the chest, lift the rib cage, lower down, pigeon pose. It is interesting to observe mythology and the hero's journey and storytelling and <sighs> Greek mythology and just in general literature because you can see all the elements of a good story in each and every one of our lives. We all go through all this things in life where we have to deep and search within, face challenges, grow, learn, illuminate our own hearts, give. And sometimes you may be on purpose doing exactly what you're here to do and not realizing it because somehow things line up and from the vista, from your own vista, you can see your life clearly. So sometimes you are already moving with your purpose without realizing it. Open the chest, maybe twist to the right, release, and change sides. Level the hips, lengthen through the crown, pull the belly in, lift the rib cage, keep it lifted lower down. And another way also to look at life is that tragedy, when we look at Greek tragedy, comedy, all of those are also represented in our lives. In 
inhale up and look over to your left release lay down onto your belly we can do a little swimming here so that we are working on the back side of the core so swimming 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 feel your muscles working release the hands underneath your chain or forehead take your toes on the left side under and we're gonna bring the right foot across so crossing over the left leg and back out one two squeezing the booty three four five six seven eight nine then opposite side one two three four five six seven eight nine then finishing off with a few more <sighs> swimming moves one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine twenty very good stretch it out in child's pose come come up to sit it comfortable seated position whichever one you prefer and roll the shoulders back and down we i hope you had fun today with this less traditional yoga class incorporating cardio workout elements into it I hope you're feeling strong. Let's inhale into the heart. Feel the heart expanding, feel strength and softness around the chest. Again, inhale through the nose, lengthen through the crown of the head. Great. Let's bow to our hearts for their forgiveness, compassion and love. Namaste and I will see you tomorrow with another class. Let me know how this was for you. Let me know your thoughts about certain poses that maybe were challenging. We are coming to the end so there's gonna be some interesting themes and some different variations of yoga that we didn't do that we haven't done so far so prepare yourself take care of yourself for the rest of the day eat well sleep well and i'll see you tomorrow namaste